So once again, at 325,000 subs, we're doing the second mega campaign. That is uh, the proper mega campaign. I, I can't believe I even disgraced a mega campaign without CK2. I was able to figure it out. Uh, it is, it it's taken a lot of work. So I might be uploading a little bit less, but um, I'll drop hints here and there as we, you know, kind of get closer to the goal. Also, one more thing. Cancer Boy Caillou is back. I don't really have a reason for it. I, I kind of just wanted to do it. It was very impulsive. I don't know. Maybe a bad idea. Anyways, so today we're going to see what would have happened if the Earth had more land, more continents, more islands, which means obviously a lot of this stuff was colonized by the Europeans, but there's also some new nations as well. I actually played this mod like a really long time ago, like, like a year ago, and I promised that I'd come back to it one day. Uh, I'm a little... A little late, uh, to be honest, but it just got a new update, so this is kind of perfect timing. Now, out of all these new land masses, I don't know if any of them are, like, scientifically proven to be under the ocean or something like that. I don't think so. There there might be some of this stuff, it, but it's not like Zealandia, like Zealandia, the lost continent. At least I don't think it is. I just think it's kind of cool to see, like, all the new colonial territory that the Europeans got. Of course, Germany's still fucked, but Italy got some stuff, uh, and he's, you know trustworthy in battle. I don't really know what's going on here, but uh, you'll notice like coastlines have changed. Sometimes there's like a big old lake. I'm guessing sea levels are a little bit different. Maybe that explains this stuff. Obviously, there's going to be a ton more resources now, which is pretty cool. I was worried that this was going to be like useless territory. Not entirely. And look at Mu. Mu, something like that. I don't know how you pronounce this, but they've got a whole lot of oil. This is like the, the Middle East, basically, just right here in the Pacific. Which I guess that does explain why you guys are here. And we actually have our first war on this new continent. It's going to be two against one, unfortunately. So, yeah, uh, they're going to lose their oil. Also forgot to mention that uh, this is supposed to be Atlantis. Like, the, the continent is Atlantis. I don't know what nation is ruling over this landmass, but uh, obviously they're doing pretty well for themselves. I'm going to assume that this was probably a former British colony from the parties that, that rule over them. Maybe they got their independence kind of like the U.S. Damn! Okay, well that was really quick. I thought they put up more of a fight. No, nope, they've already been puppeted. And uh, I guess I was really onto something there. Maybe this really is like the Middle East of the Pacific. Okay, what the fuck is this? I, I don't know. Was this part of the map? Oh, okay. Something real bad's going on in Poland. Very bad. Is there a war going on? So yeah, they're just like dropping states. They're becoming independent. Well, I tried to figure that out. Uh, I do also want to mention that there are new islands. So Denmark got some stuff. The Dutch got some stuff. Uh, Iceland has become island, and I don't know what the hell's going on with Greenland. Oh wow. And uh, Ireland has like a super crazy focus tree. Okay, something tells me that this is going to be like a crazy OP nation. You know, I really wanted to see this nation do well. I, I wanted to root for these guys just because you know, they're new here, but not anymore. No, their opinion doesn't matter. Not with this new anime profile pic. Oh, and you know what? These guys were probably a part of the British Empire at some point too, judging by their flag, I'm assuming. They're doing pretty well for themselves, although they're authoritarian. That could actually lead to some pretty interesting things here. National China, or uh, Chinese Shrek guy, can uh, can we talk about this? That, that can't be good. Growing communist support. How is that even possible? Looks like Albania is not down to just get annexed this time around. I I'm assuming that's because they're communist. All right, well, good luck, Benito. Oh, 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 okay. Yeah, no, you guys, you're definitely going to need it uh, because Stalin wants to join in on the fun. So I think we're going to see kind of like a Cold War, although it's not really going to be a Cold War. Between the Axis and the Comintern, there is no, like, immediate front line. I, I don't expect much to happen just yet. I guess Mao needed some extra cash understandable but i mean here's the thing if you're gonna do porn maybe don't do gangbangs it's been a long time since we've seen franco win i can't remember the last time the nationalists actually won the civil war but i don't know i like it i used to hate this man but maybe we have like a bond now you know since we're both essentially bald some real crazy is happening in japan right now uh so they had a communist uprising thing is korea went independent but are still fascists so technically they're gonna be helping hirohito that is something I, I never thought I'd see. There we go, Portugal. It was yours in the first place. You guys might as well take it back. I don't think anyone minds. Oh, damn. Well, they did actually land. That's honestly more than I, I ever thought they'd get. I, I didn't even think they'd set foot inside of Brazil. And look at that. All of Hirohito's little puppets are coming to his aid. He's just barely holding on, though. I don't know if this is really going to save him. Oh, bad idea. Very, very bad idea. Japan joined the common turn. Because, yeah, Korea joined the Axis. Well, yeah, I mean, you're dead. Oh, man. And I forgot that China was doing their own thing, too. Did they actually go 
they haven't gone communist yet. Not technically, they're still authoritarian. And then they have their uh, reformed Tibet puppet, I guess. And as Hitler prepares to invade Poland, which is actually gonna happen, I think, any second now, uh, the Polish faction isn't looking that bad. Even though they lost some states, they're still on the same team. And Romania and Yugoslavia will more than likely help out. What a massacre. Just an absolute massacre. It would have been interesting though, if uh, by some miracle, Mongolia joined the Axis because they went fascist and so did Tanutuva. Obviously, I, I mean, they're not really gonna be, you know, bringing that much support, but it's about the thought that counts. Interesting, Mexico, interesting. Manuel, you wanna tell me what you guys are planning? What kind of plan is this? Okay, what, what the fuck? <laughs> I was not expecting you guys to literally take it all back. That that was not supposed to happen. And they're going after the Congo next. Wow. Uh, I also noticed that they have growing fascist support. It's not very fast, but it's getting there. Ooh. So Stalin pulled the trigger before the Germans did, which, I mean, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. It could be a bad thing. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely a bad thing. That's, yeah, for sure. Now, now you're fighting a ridiculous amount of enemies and that's right so of course the british were guaranteeing poland which pulls in all the allies british raj now going after china because of the whole common turn thing wow okay well this just got really messy okay and now everyone's just gonna start piling on france joined the allies so did the anime people and it just continues to get even worse that sucks because the common turn were looking actually pretty amazing with china japan and the soviets yeah the chinese are gone because of this weird thing you know for a second there I, I thought this video was gonna kind of suck in the very beginning i was like wow how did they get three of these huge nations on the same side this isn't gonna be very entertaining i, I guess I, I don't know shit and even more chaos in south america as bolivia who's normally communist during the common turn but so did colombia and that's because peru declared war on them okay so what does the big daddy now say about this the new Portuguese daddy. Canada, are, are you guys sure about this? Can, can you guys just go home, please? I I don't want to see you embarrass yourself. They somehow landed in the Japanese mainland. Well, that should balance some things out a bit. There we go, Poland become that second strongest faction, maybe even the first strongest faction, 127 states. Yeah, this was kind of needed. The allies were doing too good. So what happens now? Um, well, I mean, I know the allies actually still have to face China. They're still going at, but I mean, they're fighting alone. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, as for the Polish team, well, they probably need more friends. That's for sure. I want to know who pieced out Japan like this. Why would the allies or anyone else for that matter do this? The communists are still here. There's no war between the communists and the fascists. They just got to live with each other now. And Portugal is the next place to just done goof. They declared war on Paraguay and uh, obviously the US decided they weren't going to have that. They, they're calling in all the allies. You know, now that I think about it, I, I do know who did this stupid ass peace deal. They were the only ones here. Oh man, they just, they can't do anything right. No, it doesn't matter either way. Uh, I guess a war did break out. I don't know, it's very strange. But uh, yeah, Hirohito's still, I guess at war with China, but China's about to die soon, so that doesn't really matter. You either die a hero or live long enough to see yourself become the villain. That just happened to Poland right now as they turn communist and have all former Soviet territory. I don't really know how to feel about this right now. I mean, I want to congratulate you, but it's like you've become everything you once hated. And now it just gets even weirder as uh, this is basically a conflict between the Germans and the Soviet Union. Uh, that's exactly what this is. And these new communists are even about to have the allies on their side. This is exactly just World War II, kind of, except replace the Soviets with Poland. Here's a peace deal for the Nordic Brotherhood, which nothing really happened all that much, except for Brazil. Brazil did get released, I think, from the Portuguese. Portugal also is probably democratic now. And we all know Italy sucks on the African front, but what about this continent's front? It, maybe it could be a whole nother thing. I mean, it is a kind of near upside down world. Maybe they'll see opposite results. You know, to be honest, I, initially, I was a little disappointed. The fact that these new continents didn't really do anything. But then I thought about it. I mean, this is probably the most realistic. Just because this is just more territory for more than likely the Allies to colonize. I mean, Italy might have got some stuff. Germany would have probably still lost World War One, So they would have lost all their shit, basically. There's the peace deal for World War Two. And uh, I'm a little concerned there. I was really hoping Poland would take a whole lot more. Uh, Japan got their island back, and that's kind of about it. It doesn't matter if they didn't take any land if they just 
puppeted the whole damn country. Okay, so, uh, I guess Poland is a better Soviet Union than the Soviet Union. They didn't settle for just half this country, just like a bunch of losers. Anyways, guys, I don't know how many more videos I'm going to release before the Mega Campaign. It really depends, I guess, on how fast we reach that goal. Which, I mean, by the way, maybe you shouldn't subscribe. Maybe don't subscribe. I still have so much work to do. <laughs> I, I, I am very far behind. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. And big thanks to Elfie C, Elijah Senpai, Rooster Vacation, Jen's Love Disc, Jen's Love Disc, Swiss Argo, Maxi G, Yeet God McNeckass, King Solomon, Daddy Sea Beans, Ben Moak, Abraxas, Delta Aurora, Princess Emma, Tanner of the Nazareth, Raging Fruit, David Diaz, Papa Stalin of the Paintbrushes, Free Cruise, and Hatman.